but being at that, we have another Mexico rep with Chag versus. Oh yeah, that's um fresh, right? Mon Sorry, Mon Monty. Oh, Mon uh, the Game and Watch. I'm so yeah. okay. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm bad with names. This is uh, I just looked at the screen over here. I didn't. I didn't reckon. Wow. I don't. I don't know what he looks like. Uh, but yeah, Monty, a really good Game and Watch. Uh, he's been on the come up. Uh, was talking to Vance earlier, and he told me that he really also didn't go to much offline events before, uh, you know, MSM came back during after quarantine. So, um, dude, Wi-Fi? Maybe the goaded training grounds? I don't know. Uh, all these Wi-Fi players. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hate it personally. So, I don't yeah. think even Wi-Fi players like it. <laughs> all right. But, you know, it's like a, it's like you know it's like those nine to five jobs. That you going yeah, to. yeah. Like you got, you got, you can't, you just have to do it. You don't have to love it. Though. I mean, like that's like the unfortunate part is like you know those players, you know, have to like endure and able to go through it. But you know, you're able to get like I know a lot of people have been saying like you can at least use Wi-Fi to get matchup knowledge down. Yeah. So you can understand. It. Wow. I mean, and neither of these players probably need too much Wi-Fi knowledge in this matchup. Uh, Palutena, pretty common character, and Chag obviously has a very notable. Wow. Game and watch. No. Wow, I can't Wait. believe that. Wow. Off the top, up air. Game yeah. and watch is a very light character. I but think. I, I think. I think it was because Monte used up the. Yeah. And then it was holding his. He was up. holding up. Yeah. yeah. It had to wow. been the di for sure. Wow. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, Chag does have a lot of experience in this matchup against uh, Meister? Meister specifically. So you know, probably considered the best game and watch in the world. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh man, just like uh, this. This match just seems really rough for Game and Watch, especially because like our, uh, no, not <laughs> Oops. And it's just that because like it's, it's because um. Let me get my brain running real quick. Uh, especially with Chag and his uh, Palutena, you're able to space out those aerials, and you're able to you're able to touch Game and Watch shield and not get upbeat. I think that's like nice. the most important part of the matchup. Right but. down there into the back throw. Just a little too late on the down smash timing. Wasn't able to get that. Oh my gosh. Speaking of down smash, Monte just tried to let it rip there, but. And, I, and also, that's like a special thing if you don't know. One of Palutena's weakness is a poor out of shield option. Like, sure, Nano Shield can work, but also you're seeing Chag trying to get those down airs out of shield. You know, trying to land a punish down, but. Instant bucket absorb lands around it. Oh no. Oh my god. It's a lot of lag on the end. Yeah. I just realized that. Alright, up air coming out again. Chag with a very solid lead here. Still not gonna die to the bomb. 158% recovers to the platform. Gotta be careful, Monte. Doing a really good job. Dash attack. Clips for a little more. Back air crosses up shield with a down air. Catches both options and the up air. Clips out Monte. Oh my god, Chag. 169 pretty buckets that uh, explosive flame. So that's important to know. It looks like uh, the explosive flame pretty much auto fills up the bucket. Yeah. So. He has that in the matchup. I don't think the projectile is very strong, though. No. It, it doesn't seem to. Like, when we first saw the shield interaction, it wasn't too much, but I don't know. It seems like Chag's just controlling this match so well. Like, Monte's just kind of searching for answers right now. Down tilt. It's just so safe. Like, okay, that no, okay, that dash attack wasn't safe, but you saw that down tilt. Oh perfectly spaced on the shield. Unable to get really get a punish there in Monte. Okay, Chag. We get it. You're yeah, cool. he's got those <laughs> on deck for sure. And Chag's just mission. waiting it out. Not overcommitting here, gets wow. the grab. Air dodges the back throw though, with the back air, excuse me. Oh my god, yeah, that would have been clean. Almost gets it. Grabs the wrong way though, uses the reflector. Does hit off for a little more damage, but Monte at 114. There we go. That's Finally exactly. able to take one stock off with the dash attack at nearly 200%, but hey man, that's a start. Man. You gotta be careful, like Monte's gotta be careful with those areas as well, because. It doesn't, you know, able to get that auto cancel down. Then Chad can actually just do that down here out of shield in order to get in a better situation. But perfect usage of the counter. Monte, one hit away from death essentially. But you know, Chad just playing really patient, playing exactly what to do. I love that. The up tilt, man. It's such a cool looking move for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, she she's got to be very flexible to be able to do that to begin with. Also, it's just skills, man. Yeah. You ever tried spinning a staff above your head? Um, I have. How'd it go? <laughs> Pretty good, actually, but oh. that's because I had like martial arts training. So okay, <laughs> hold on. Palutena might have a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I, I could, I could do a Pal Palutena cosplay exactly. and do uh, up tilt. Hell yeah. The Edmund Palutena cosplay went. Do do do. I have a Palutena, but Three, two, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do like the character. I, I've 
played it for a while. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, eh. It's just everything flows so well. It's yeah. like butter. It's like smooth like butter. You're able to like blend everything well together. And you're able to get those like you know, hits down. Yeah, this is something I wanted to see. I wanted to use of the chef in order to, you know, those ledge situations. But then yeah. I asked myself, did Monty really able, was able to get Chag in a ledge situation? Yeah, that exactly. I was going to say, first he's got to be able to put Chag off stage into that ledge situation. Uh, Down tilt. It's looking the other way around here. Look at this trap. Chag making just incredible use of his dash to de like feign in and out to force Monty to approach, right? Try to punish something, uh, maybe landing with an aerial and that seems punishable but actually is not. Yep. Oh, not all the hits in there do connect there. On both hands, I love that. Chag is just like so, it, it's so great utilizing every single aerial, every single option to punish when Monte is trying to do another something and tries to land with the, that's what, I call it the Wi-Fi, right? You do the roll behind <laughs> yeah. back throw, yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't oh. land it out. And that's also something really like important is that if Monte tries to contest Chag over on like one side, Chag can instantly just use teleport to get out to the other side, edge cancel it and get something else, but Chag, oh my goodness. Yeah, Such so. well control, Monte, better not flinch because if you do, yeah, another one of those dash attacks will kill. Back air is definitely going to kill here. Uh, up air, pretty much anything. There's a the dash attack. It's so good because every single time Monte is trying to come in with the back air, yeah. Chag just instantly responds with the dash attack. I mean, that shield yeah. is just so strong. I mean, dash out, out of the threat zone, back in, punish mm -hmm. the lag. Like, one, two. It's so good. And also, I think what's really, um, really great to see that uh, it's just showing up like Chag's discipline. I can count maybe on like my my one single hand how many times Chag has been upbeat. Because that's just how good his spacing has been yeah. in this game. Man, oh my god. Perfect uses of the pivot grab. Monte gets away from the ledge though. Yeah, might as well throw out a up smash. But see, every single time the up smash is trying to come out, Chag is just one step ahead and is able to, you know, use a little tippy toe in order to secure himself, you know, that hit and get instantly Monte in a bad situation. That down air. No spike. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, Chag. Okay. Let's calm down. Chag. Chag actually felt that one. He didn't. He didn't like losing a stock, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, speaking of losing a stock, Montes yeah. is gone. Take them right on back. He's like, he's like, I giveth you this life, I can take it away. I'm right. a generous god. <laughs> I'm a generous goddess. All right. Monty uh, down to his last stock here, though. Gets an up B into an up air, but then the counter, obviously, is going to be something to watch out for. Not going to be able to just uh, spam those up airs, really. It's just, I, it's just really good, and Chag is just doing such a good job. It's like it's not even like a fast, like not even fast pace. It's just that Chag is just like very methodical, just controlling like everything that Monty does. Like every single time Monty tries to make an option, it's almost it. It's like. Palutena is just one step ahead, and, and that's exactly what Chag's been doing. You know, he does get held with a few attacks, but here we go. Back into the neutral game area. This is where I think, then this is where Chag really shines. This is able to really control at the rank out these aerials safely, knowing that Monte is forced to be in the aggressive position. You oh, know. he rolled right into that yeah. helmet that time. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta feel the love. Feels the bucket. Almost gets it, but. That teleport, the, the, the usage of the teleport that Chag has gotten in, this, in these games has been just, like, huge. Like, being able to get those situations, being able to escape, being able to chase down, it's just the how much utility that teleport is able to give. Yeah. And I love that. That's a, That just gave me memories of Smash 4, Palutena with the jab into grab. My goodness. Chag makes it work. Monte is a little shook. 132, but Chag playing so well. Oh no, it, it, it's it's looking really rough for Monte, and especially since Chag is like knowing that he can take a grab. I think that's why he's holding shield so much. He knows oh. he can take a grab, and the fine light sends it right to the heavens. I just Even got much. I just got really quiet at the end there because I was just trying to. I was just like, what do you do? What do you do? I'm searching for answers. Like, that's what my head was going through during that match. I was just like, uh, dude, Chag just had complete control of that.